Okay, so scaling risk is a major risk. It's got to be fixed. And actually, there's more than one way to deal with this. So we've already talked about changing consensus, which is a major uh, step. But there's other ideas out there. And I want to talk about vertical and horizontal uh, scaling. So a vertical scaling um, basically centralizes um, to some degree the transaction processing. So think of having some, some super nodes that uh, are handling the actual uh, key transactions. And, uh, and there's a number of cryptos out there that have a situation like this. So this is exactly the trade-off, the trilemma uh, trade-off that I talked about. So if you look at the Ethereum network, you've got all of these nodes out there and you've got miners and it's very uh, decentralized. Whereas with this vertical scaling, it is more centralized. There are some key nodes that are really important. And you get from that speed. So Solana can actually do 50,000 transactions per second right now. Uh, another one is Algorand. So, so again, this is a, like a really difficult trade-off that uh, that you become less decentralized, but you greatly increase the transaction uh, speed. So there's another idea here, and that's uh, horizontal scaling, and it's sometimes known as sharding. So sharding is a word that you need to know, and it's a word in my word cloud that we'll see at the end of the course as usual. Okay, so, so think of this as dividing a blockchain into different pieces. Um, so there's multiple chains, and then there is kind of a master chain that connects them, so you can go from one shard to another shard. And this is actually also part of Ethereum uh, 2.0. So just to be clear here, 75 transit. 75,000 transactions per second is not enough in terms of the future for DeFi. So this effort has got multiple components to it. And all of these components are focused on increasing uh, the uh, transactions uh, per second and increasing the latency. Okay, so uh, again, Ethereum 2, um, supposedly just with the sharding, uh, we can do uh, 50,000 uh, transactions um, per second, which is you know, a, a massive improvement uh, compared to what we have uh, today. Um, the, the sharding that will occur uh, is 64. Uh, that, is the, that is the proposal uh, right now, 64 different uh, shards. Uh, this has not been settled yet. There's a lot of detail that hasn't been worked out but it's definitely um, moving uh, forward. So sharding has got a lot of risks, of course. Um, one risk is just the way that the shards actually communicate with each other. So often the idea is that certain shards are assigned to do certain things. So DeFi might be on one of the shards, but there needs to be communication. Um, it's also a risk that an adversary potentially could take over one of the shards and cause uh, damage. But I think that's not a big risk because the proof of work uh, is replaced by proof of stake. And with the proof of stake, what would happen is given the stake you put up, you would be randomly assigned to uh, propose a block in a randomly chosen shard. Okay, so this idea of amassing uh, enough computing power to take over a shard, I think is, a, is low probability. Nevertheless, it is a risk that we need uh, to consider. This is all being worked out. Um, this is something that can be very important. I say that Ethereum 2 is going to use 64 shards, and that's the pro uh, proposal, but uh, there's no reason that 
you can't go beyond uh, 64. It is like, in a way, parallel uh, computing. 